What's going on guys? Thanks for stopping by and hope everyone's having a great day. This is Josh from VHU and we are going to be starting a playthrough of the Kerbal Space Program career mode. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. We're going to go to start new. Uh, this is going to be the very basics. I'm still not the best at it myself, uh, but I'm going to do my best to kind of make it, um, you know, the, the beginning part is fairly easy for those who have played Kerbal Space Program, but I wanted to start fresh just so we have an idea of what's going on here to start. So this game career mode is all about collecting science to research new parts. It's not really sophisticated, but I've heard some good things about the newest update that's supposed to be coming. Anyway, we're going to make sure we click on career, and we're going to enter our name VHU, and we're going to click on the flag anywhere you go to plant flags. You can create your own. So I have created my own VHU flag here, which is going to be the, uh, the follow boy there. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So this is going to play out pretty much just like regular uh, KSP games if you've ever played it. Um, I made a lot of videos on this game, so you can go ahead and check it out. Basically, you're just doing basic things to collect science, doing research, um, you, you get skill trees to, to unlock more things, more parts, so you can do more stuff and collect more science. So to start off with the basics, we're going to go ahead and do just do a command prompt, or a command prompt, command pod, right in the um, vehicle assembly building, and we're going to go to launch. Obviously you can't get very far, but that's okay. So I just want to show you guys exactly what's going to be happening here. Um, if you right click on the ship, you can see there's a crew report. You can do a crew report right on the launch pad and you'll see you get 1.5 science. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. So there's a couple things I want to show you guys here. You can see that there's a green and a blue bar. So transmit 1.5 and recovery 1.5. What this means is that you can keep the data and then if you can recover the ship, you'll get the full science. In this case, because you're so close, it doesn't really matter, but it, in, in, you are able to transmit the same science. You are going to lose some along the way, though, but in this case, because we're so close, we're going to get 100% of it. So we're going to keep that. So we're going to go ahead and exit this. All right. And then we're going to go ahead and right-click on him. We're going to do an EVA report. So an EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary, was it? Now, again, recovery, 2.4. We're just going to keep the data. And then we're also going to take a surface sample. And recovery... Nine science. So in this case, you're going to see here you're going to lose. You're only going to get 25% by keeping or by transmitting it. So recovery, you're going to get nine. If you transmit it, you're only going to get 2.3. So you're going to want to definitely try. the 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 whole point is to try to get, um, you know, try to recover as much as you can in, uh, physically and not have to transmit a lot of stuff. However, that can't always be done in later missions. So after you're done, you're going to just hit escape and go to the space center. You're going to go to the space center here. The tracking station, I guess. You're going to click on the launch pad. So you can click the recover button down below because you are on safe land. So you're going to hit recover and you're going to gather all the science. So 1.5, 9, and 2.4 for a total of 12. So there's a lot of more things you can do here, but ultimately we just want to unlock the first tree. So you're going to go ahead and go to research and development. Click on the first tree. See, this is how you start. The first skill tree only costs five to unlock and you get a lot of things like a decoupler, a small fuel tank, a medium sized fuel tank and the mystery goo contaminant unit. So that is going to be essential for collecting science. We're going to go ahead and research that right away. We're going to go back to our vessel here that we've created. And we're going to go under science. And we're going to go to the mystery goo containment unit. Click there. And just go ahead and launch. So this doesn't really matter. Uh, we've already been through a lot of this stuff already. But we're going to try a couple more things here. So obviously the first thing, we're going to right click on that and observe the mystery goo. This is what it looks like right from Earth's orbit or from Earth's uh, Kerbin's, you know, just sitting on the launch pad. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now because you're not doing much right now, but you still get three science for it. So you're going to keep that data. Um, we're going to go ahead and EVA and get out of here. And then we're going to take a bit of a walk. And we're going to go ahead and walk to the grass. Right click. Do an EVA report. I don't think the spacesuit was entirely necessary here, was it? 2.4. Done. Take surface sample. Nine science for keeping that or forgetting that. I don't know if I can take another one. No, nope. so you can only have one of everything. Now, if once you get larger command pods and stuff like that, you can actually store. Um, I'll show you right now. If you go to EVA and then you right click on here on the vessel, why can't I go to there? We go. You can actually take data, or the opposite is you can actually store data as well. So let's go ahead and get in there. Um, but we're going to go ahead and go back to the space center here and collect our science. Now, the future videos are not going to be all explanatory or anything like this. So you can see we're going to get 22 science on this one. 
All the future videos are not going to be like this. Um, this is mainly just to ins instruct you on kind of what's going on, how this whole thing works and stuff like that. So we're going to now, now that we have some extra assistance here, we're going to go ahead and just create a little, um, just a little kind of a basic craft here. So we've got the command pod, we've got the mystery goo. Oh, I can't put that there yet. Uh, that's got to go there. All right. And we'll just put a just a standard rocket booster on it. You do only get one to start. So what we're going to do is we're going to launch in the air. When we get high up in the air, we're going to stop. We're going to do a crew report. You'll see everything we're going to do here just to collect some mad science. We're going to ultimately try to land in water so we can do science experiments in the water as well. So we're going to ship, launch. Oh, and I messed up the staging. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. And to fix that, we're going to click on the plus arrow and add the rocket. So the rocket will be the first stage, followed by the parachute. So we're going to hold shift to accelerate up. And then we're going to aim to about 90 degrees or so. Uh, you're going to press T as well. I forgot to press T. That's going to try to hold you in the same current trajectory that you're in, the same angle and everything. You can see the moon there. That's We're still a ways away from that, but not as far as you might think. Alright, you're not supposed to be able to accelerate, but I know the trick. Alright, so we're going to launch the parachute here. We're going to do a crew report, which is going to get us 3.5. You record the crew's assessment of the situation. Crew report from Kerbin's upper atmosphere. Then we're going to do a observe the mystery goo. Seven science. It's getting very cold now. And see, if you transmit it, you only get 2.1. If you recover it, it's 7.0. And so now we're just coming back down to Kerbin. So about 500 there. We're going to be opening the chutes. There we go. So now we're going to just be coming down to the water. Um, ultimately, the goal is to collect as much science as you can. So any terrain that you haven't been on before. Whoa, we lost almost everything there. All right, let's get out of the water. We're going to do an EVA report, 3.2 science for uh, being in the water. And take a surface sample, 12 science for being in the water. So you've taken a sample of the water. It appears to drastically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. So you don't really have to get back in here. I just like to because I don't like to waste time having to recover a couple missions. Oops. Make sure you don't do this throttled up. Otherwise, you lose everything. And so we're back. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the Space Center here. So any terrain that you haven't been on before, you can get science for. So we're going to recover and get 53, oh, 30.7 science for that mission alone, and 53 in total. So if you look at Kerbin, you'll see there's ice caps up on the north. There's, uh, I think we are on the desert terrain now, but there's grasslands, there's mountain ranges. Anywhere you can go that you've never been to before, especially like terrain, especially the ice, you're going to get a, a ton of science. Um, so the goal is to do as much stuff as you can on Kerbin. And then once you're more comfortable doing stuff like that, you can go ahead and get, you know, get into um, higher things, more important things. So first thing you kind of want to do is a lot of the later on experiments are going to require a little bit more power. You don't need to really worry about the separatrons right now. What I like to focus on is survivability, and that's going to get you a smaller rocket uh, booster, which is going to be more efficient, and also landing struts. Um, some of the... Uh, some of the missions coming up are going to require us to be able to land on land with bigger engines and so you want to have some landing struts and also you get some better parachutes too for to slow you down some more. So I'm going to go with that. However, I still have lots of science. So we can go with the route of either getting, you know, I have enough to unlock. I don't have a lot, enough to unlock these. So I'm going to go ahead and open this one up because you're going to get a solid rocket booster, Separatron and liquid fuel engine. Not overly necessary, but I mainly stick to rockets to start so uh, I don't really need like that sturdy I'm not a big fan of the radial decoupler and the winglet we don't really need so we're gonna go ahead and go with the um, general rocketry which is 50 or 20 science sorry so that gives us a lot more stuff that we can do so let's take a look here at what else we can do 
you know what guys actually I'm gonna end this video here right now this is just gonna be the basics in the next couple of videos we are gonna take a look at some more advanced features and stuff like that in the meantime please leave a like rating below if you have any questions or concerns feel free to ask any opinions anything I missed please let me know other than that guys stay tuned for part two which will be around fairly soon have a good day guys peace